Hey, super awesome stampers. This is super awesome. Stamper Shirley. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I am sharing the June 2016 Paper Pumpkin Kit. It's a monthly subscription that arrives in your stamp mail box that is very affordable at about $20 plus tax to the shipping address. There is no shipping cost. Shipping is already included in that $20. Alright, so I am winding around these banners, and Stampin' Up! creates a very short paper pumpkin video after all the kits have, have been shipped. So go to their YouTube channel to see how to assemble this card. But that's how it would mail, and we would slip it into the provided gift sack. So the color is Mint Macaron and Tip Top Taupe. Those are the featured colors from this, from this kit. And I probably would hand deliver this and I would stamp it with an appropriate sentiment. Happy shower, birthday, anniversary, or graduation were included. We also got two little ink spots, mint macaron and tip top taupe. A length of washi tape to seal up our cello bags and then the baker's twine. So next I would like to share some alternate projects. This is a thank you card. So I backed it on tip top taupe, eight and a half eleven by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is Whisper White that I've added a sixth of a sheet of an eight and a half by eleven. This stripe here comes from the actual card that was included in the kit. So I cut this card in half down the score line and then in half this way. So I got four pieces from one cardstock. And bonus, the top pieces actually still have those notches. Those bottom pieces, I grabbed a hold punch and I just made it a notch so the string would still be tucked around a notch for the pieces that are were cut from the bottom pieces. You got all that? Hopefully. Good, right? All right, my next tip is that we had two sticker sheets included and I needed quite a few thank you cards, but we only got three U's per sheet, so we got a total of six U's. So I looked at the rest of the letters and if you look close, this U is much shorter than this one. That's because that, this U was cut from the O, so I just sliced the top off. Um, the Q's could also be used. You just slice the bottom off. You might be able to use the C's and the G's creatively to make U's also. So look at these letters in a different way if you need something else, especially initial, that could be created from what is available. All right, the thank is from a previous paper pumpkin kit. It's one from a long time ago, I think two years ago. It was the Father's Day, Mother's Day combination. So check your paper pumpkin binder for that stamp. I thought it would be fun to use the letters as a monogram on the back of the envelope, so we're hoping those mail okay. We'll give them a good press before I drop them in the mailbox. So L and C, if you get your envelopes, let me know if you receive them intact. Okay, my second project is actually a petite cafe bag. And I created a cello bag with H and stamped happy. This clip uh, we sell individually, but it is also in our perfectly wrapped party kit. And then our ribbon here is Delightful Dijon new ribbon. So those are the two things that I added plus the bag to make a fun little treat holder. And that's it for my alternate paper pump pumpkin project videos. I'm on location at mom and dad, so I'll just have to share a photo of the rest of the projects that I created. So thanks for watching. This is super awesome. Stamper Shirley. Bye.